hello and welcome back to the channel in today's video the brand new facelifted version of a mercedes-benz b-class the 2024 model we will go through all exterior interior details we'll check the practicality and the new infotainment system stay tuned before we go any further special thanks to jolly auto line here in zagreb for making this video possible i will put all their info in the description below if you haven't already subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future uploads Welcome back everybody to the channel, like I said in the very beginning, in today's video we will go through all exterior and interior details of a facelifted version of this 2024 Mercedes B-Class, the more practical variant of a very popular Mercedes hatchback, the A-Class. This particular model is powered by a 2 liter diesel 150 horsepower, but before we go and check that technical stuff I will go through all exterior details starting with this front end design here in the front we have the biggest change with this uh, facelifted version now the all versions get these led headlights mercedes calls it led high performance of course with led daytime running lights on this particular model we have also front parking sensors in the center big mercedes logo with all the safety systems in it with a uh, camera and also here on a bonnet Mercedes badge overall design is very similar like on a pre facelift version and this particular model is finished in trapper blue exterior moving here on a passenger side profile just a word or two about wheels and tires 17 inch in diameter uh, continental tires with this really nice and interesting two-tone wheel design let's go further in the back now you can see chrome elements all around these windows here with the uh, chrome door handles and keyless go system on this model moving here in the back really classic shape if you are looking for a premium family uh, mpv this is definitely one of the vehicles to go for in the back we have some small rear spoiler especially good looking when we have this contrasting black element in the back moving here just to look a rear end in the rear end is actually the second uh, major difference on this uh, facelift version uh, these uh, lights are a little bit uh, different in uh, the graphics more of that at the very end of a video in the center we have a mercedes logo license plate and more of that rear parking sensors so let's just quickly check the driver side profile now the only and main difference you have fuel filler cap here on a driver's side on this 2024 mercedes b-class let me know in the comment section what you think about this exterior design of a new b-class and now let's go and check the practicality starting with the boot space so if you want to open the boot space on a mercedes b-class under the mercedes logo you have rubber lever you press it and this is what you get 445 liters of boot space is the official number a couple of uh, cool details and features on this uh, boot design on a driver's side you have uh, one light over here with shopping bag hooks also shopping bag hook on a passenger side some useful uh, handles here on a uh, forward and here in the back uh, one thing i have to mention really nice materials all the way here in the back there is more of extra storage underneath this floor uh, each seat can be folded down individually which is a really nice feature and the best feature of course is that this uh, is a flat floor so there is no problem for you if you need to slide heavier item also great feature i'm about 184 centimeters this is above my height so there is no way that i would hit my head on this plastic cover premium feature you can electronically close this boot really nice now let's go and check the rear seats so let's just quickly check the rear seats this is the door opening angle but we will check the driver's side because we have a little bit more light on this side so 
as you can see from the very beginning you have a really big door opening angle which would be great for the kids or even adults to get on a rear seat before i go and sit on these seats let's just quickly check the door design and materials materials are absolutely stunning every way you look and every way you touch you have really nice and premium materials even here in this upper section there are some type of uh, soft leather material with this really premium uh, light gray stitching in this middle section more of that leather material with uh, soft area where you will put your elbow metal door handle with the metal effect uh, this uh, handle over here electronically operated uh, rear windows with extra storage in the door pockets this is the rear seat design before i go and sit on this rear seats i will put this driver seat on my ideal driving position so we will see how much a knee and leg room i do have but first let's just check this uh, rear seats design you have isofix anchor points here in the back uh, the one thing that i'm huge fan is uh, that these seats these outside elements are covered in leather but this uh, inner section is in textile which is great and also one great feature at least for me you have black roof lining so i've put this driver's seat on my ideal position let's go and check how easy it is to get in and out really really easy this one is a little bit higher than the normal uh, a-class but uh, it's not a, a crossover or suv you have gle for that door opening or door opening angle is really wide as you can see and there is no problem for me to sit in this is my knee room and my foot room also for my head i do have maybe 10 centimeters to spare in the back you have this light over here gorgeous leather seats in front of me with this uh, useful nets over uh, here in the back kids will love this useful storage here also extra and usb charging port also nets on a passenger front seat really really cool design and if you need to carry let's say two adults of my size there will be no problem for them now let's go and check the uh, passenger front seat these are the passenger front seat let's just quickly check the door design similar like in the back gorgeous materials uh, here in the front you have uh, different design elements with a uh, heated uh, front seats and even larger uh, door pockets in this area on a side skirt you have a really nice mercedes-benz badge over here and really interesting and cool design of this uh, rubber floor mats these are the front seats similar like in the back gorgeous design i'm a huge fan of this type of when you have intersection with the textile and this outside uh, on a leather now let's go and check the position of course getting in and out really really easy and great seating position Just check the design and the materials in front of me gorgeous design and nice materials great uh, mercedes-benz uh, three-pointed stars in front of me with this turbine effect air vents let's just check the glove box yeah really nice and slow opening with the light in it more of that storage in front of us some uh, rubber area over here with a charging port as you can see this is gloss black so you can easily uh, close it two cup holders and now we come to a biggest uh, difference of this facelifted model in the inside you don't have that touchpad anymore the system is only operated as a touch screen now here in the back you have center armrest with two usb charging ports a little bit more about this uh, center uh, center infotainment system and this uh, center area i will talk when i get on a driver's seat just a quick look on a driver's seat the main difference is that this low section you can easily slide for uh, longer journeys so it will be even more comfortable this is my driving position i will pull this seat a little bit further in the back so you can have greater field of view like that classic with uh, mercedes-benz vehicles here on a far left you have all your controls 
for your headlights this gorgeous new steering wheel design absolutely stunning i'm a huge fan three spokes with a gloss back uh, gloss back buttons here on a left and on a right side uh, behind the steering wheel you have a minus and plus pedals because of course this is an automatic transmission i have a key with me so i will start the vehicle in a few moments so we'll check quickly the infotainment system but just word or two about this uh, center area three air vents gorgeous in design like i said earlier some shortcuts over here and like i said earlier on a passenger front seat you don't have any more that touchpad just a quick word or two about this center infotainment system i will not go through all uh, details but as you can see the graphics are really nice and sharp the responsibility is excellent so you have everything that you need you have radio navigation you can plug your phone so yeah this is really something special if you are looking for a premium uh, family car this should be definitely on your top list for the very end of this video let me know first in the comment section what you think about this uh, interior design but uh, for the very end we will check the turn signals in action so these are the turn signals in the back we will check it also here in the front on a door mirrors and now you can see the new turn signals here in the front this is the end of my full review this uh, new facelifted version of a mercedes-benz b-class 200d 150 horsepower diesel engine uh, finished in this gorgeous trapper a blue metallic exterior let me know in the comment section what you think about this particular model and before we go and wrap this review special thanks again to Julie Autoline and their Zagreb dealership for making this video possible I will put all their info in the description below so you can check them out thank you so much for watching and wish you all a very nice day